Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore. 6725 West Central Avenue, it's Toledo, Ohio, 43617 419 531 6097. Instagram, JC's Comics and More, www.jc's Comics and More. And then, of course, JC's Comics and More at hotmail.com. This is Monday. Working here a little late tonight, hoping to get some extra sales in since Christmas is coming here. You know, a lot of, you know, it's the busy season. You know, lots of people are out and about spending money. Uh, so you're staying open a little bit later to take care of all those people that are uh, taking care of some shopping. But UPS, uh, this time of the year, gets their stuff in a lot earlier. So I've got a box to pick up tomorrow, or actually some more boxes. I've got these boxes here. So you get an advanced look at some of this stuff. And this is the big week. Cover A, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, number 100 from IDW. There you go, $7.99. Lots of mutant mayhem. Fans are going to be pleased, pleased, pleased. Uh, we got this, the Ghost Tree trade paperback. If you've not read this, this is from IDW. Pick it up. Good read, good read. Fantastic Four, number 17. Make sure these copies, these boxes aren't exactly the best. That's the one thing with them. Getting stuff out, they rush even more. But issue number 17, that's the cover A on the world's greatest comic magazine. I see Curse of the White Knight, I see Deja Thoris, and I see... Doom 2099 also. Check these copies out. It's crazy. You see these back covers. Initially you're thinking, man, that's damage. Scuffed up, but it's not. More copies of Fantastic Four number 17. And here's the retailer covers on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 100. This has multiple, 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 multiple covers. This is a uh, Symbiote Spider-Man, Alien Reality. This is the Alex Saviak uh, cover takeoff on Amazing Spider-Man number forty. Uh, I think this is the one in twenty-five variants on that. Again, there's like six or eight, twelve or fourteen covers on that. Here we got Annihilation Scourge, Beta Ray Bill. I know some people out there that are Beta Ray Bill fans. Maybe I'll actually see them in my shop for this. And that is the A cover, by the way. Speaking of A covers, Detective Comics 1017. Code Vengeance. Captain or the Mrs. Code and Captain Code or Mr. Free storyline I think might be going on just a little bit too long. That works not too bad. A little bland on this here. Okay, a quarter of the way through the box. And this one here is too bad they couldn't have done the, the square bound. They should have done the square bound on this here. But Giant Size Defenders number three, the reprint. Of course, Marvel has to, even though they got Marvel Comics Group right there, that's not good enough for Disney Marvel. They're going to make sure they put it right there. You know who wouldn't do that? DC Comics. And, of course, DC would have the original feeling of the paper, too, instead of this slick paper. But this does reprint. You get the Evil Knievel ad on the back. Who had the Evil Knievel toys? Put in the, uh, the, uh, the comments. And look. Marvel Treasure Editions. The fabulous Fantastic Four number 2 covered by John Romita. And then the Superhero Holiday Grade Bag, also covered by John Romita. Got backup. Uh, Doctor Strange, art by Steve Ditko. Got a Bill Everett Submariner story. There it is. There's your Marvel value stamp. Clip them and save them. Collect them. There's Jim Starlin. 
get yourself some Spider-Man toys, send away this this coupon here. Send it in. See if they uh, they see if they honor that. And by your by the way, you can get your forty red china stamps too. And send away for the checklist of uh this guy from uh, Northfield, Illinois. He'll be uh you know make his day. We've got a full page ad for the origins of Marvel Comics. I remember getting that for Christmas that year. My grandparents got that for him. And then also the Mighty Marvel calendar for 1975. That was the very first calendar that I got from Marvel. I got all the calendars. Stan Soapbox. Uh, again, this is $4.99. This is a great, great value at $4.99. I just wish it was square bound like the original. Okay, so we got Deej of Thoris. I see Curse of the White Knight. This is the FOC variant on Deej of Thoris. Here's a True Believers number one. True Believers reprints Omega the Unknown number one. I bought this when I was a kid. I enjoyed it. Got the Jim Mooney artwork. Steve Babyface Gerber. This is actually, it's actually a decent comic. Really enjoyed uh, Omega the Unknown when I was a kid. Very underrated comic, in my opinion. Guilty pleasure. And this book here, who's who's this? It's a, it's an Iron Fist. This is a new Iron Fist comic, right? Cult of the Hand. Oh no, maybe it's Doctor Doom. Oh, Green Eyes is back. No, it's Reaver. All right, Strike Force. Strike Force number four. Wow. I think they sent me extra copies of this. I think they sent me a 50% extra, which is good because, yeah, they had to have because issue. Yeah, they sent me extra copies. Uh, the next issue, I cut it way, way back. This book is tanking. It's tanking like. Uh, Boy, I, I I can't even make any analogies to that, but it's it's bad. A crime to trees everywhere. Bernie Sanders should be upset. He should be triggered. Here's a cover A of Dungeons and Dragons Infernal Tides. First issue of that. I just saw as far as Dungeons and Dragons go. I don't know if uh, anyone saw Rick and Morty last night. In a dragon episode, I was just talking to a customer. Uh, this past week, it'd be cool if they did a, a Dungeons and Dragons type story, and they did. Um, here's the uh, cover A on Batman: Curse of the White Knight, number five. This has been exceptional. But yeah, it was really cool seeing Rick and Morty do uh, D and D. Her summer was she was way crazy with uh, shooting her bow and arrow. Man, she couldn't uh, she couldn't get her legs around that that bowstring enough. But she shot the dragon in the eye, which which really well. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm not going to say anything more. But uh, check it out. Again, more copies of issue five. Action Comics. I see. Yep, there's a symbiote Spider Man. Or no, this is Superman number 18. Got Superman 18 there. Take a quick look and see if. Uh... Okay. Big issue here. I'm going to have to uh, see if I can reorder copies in the morning. I'm sure it's going to be a, a hot, hot book. Because of what happens. Of course, we all know what happens in that. Here's the cover B on Flash number 84. This, the cover B is always usually pretty good on uh, on Flash. Now, the next one coming up. Uh, see, I mean, I ordered. Next one coming up, I only ordered three copies. It's a really bad cover B. Really bad. I. Be surprised if many people even are interested. Saban's Go Go Power Rangers number 26. My copies are set aside for my pool customers. We've got the issue number two of Frozen. 
that's being set aside for a very good customer. This is the variant cover, the Venom Island variant on Captain Marvel number 13. I am sure, as with issue 12, I am going to cry BS on that too. Oh, yeah, yeah. This has to be, I don't know, I'm not sure what it is, but boy, if they're trying to make you really hate the character, they're succeeding. Mortal Hulk, number 28. Can't wait to read this. This has been very good. Uh, looking at the artwork. Oh, looks like... Uh, Looks like Joe Bennett did not do the art in this one here. Unfortunately, Joe did not do the art in this one here. So, I mean, you know, uh, Al writing it is good, but the artwork makes it incredible. It makes it immortal. If they can't get Joe to do the issue, they might as well just, just wait a month. I'd rather wait a month to get wait for uh, superior artwork as opposed to inferior artwork you know the issues that joe doesn't draw they should call it the inferior hulk okay this box is halfway done and symbiote spider-man variant so take off on the eric larson's issues of spider-man here we got betty page unbound number seven Cover B, Betty and Kong, she sure killed the beast. You better believe that, brother. Here's the Amanda Connor cover. This is cover C to Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, number four. Well, we get the Harley Quinn cover, we'll show you what those look like. This is a 2020 variant on Jane Foster Valkyrie. Dow House Family, issue number two. Make sure a copy of that gets set aside for one of my pull customers. It says it's black label, but it's caught for what it is. It's still vertigo. You're doing a lot of good stuff, uh, DC, but uh, grow a pair and call it Vertigo. Here's uh, issue number two. The variant cover on the Magicians. Trees, Three Fates, number four, by Warren Ellis. You think that since it's written by Warren Ellis, that it would be that would be enough to really draw people in. Star Trek Voyager, Mirrors and Smoke. So the one shot. I know the shop steward's gonna want this because that's his favorite captain. He has dreams about Janeway. Take me away, Janeway, take me away. Calgon, take me away. Dreams of sitting in the tub with her. We're getting all sudsy. Scary Christmas! This is out on time. Imagine that. Thank you for putting that on out on time, American Mythological Productions. Thank you. You got this to us in time. I appreciate that. Teach of Thoris. This is issue one. Cover A. Thoris damn near killed us. I see Ariel. Issue number six. And I've got copies. I make sure to get copies set away for my Marvel buyer and the buyer down in BG. And I've got somebody else that they are going to be very happy to have their copies waiting for them here, too. Okay. Something is killing the children. This is the unlocked variant. Mad Attack. He likes getting vomited on like that. Your copy's here waiting for you, Matt. Thank you for your service. Avengers Iron Man number one. 
This is the game verse. Cover A. I guess this ties in with the video game. So, we'll see. Here's another one of the Symbiote Spider-Man. So take off on Amazing Spider-Man cover 100 by John Romita. And hopefully this book is, is uh, hopefully it's a good book. And those at home, that's the third variant now. Morbius the Living Vampire, issue number two. And he's taking on the Melter, old Iron Man for the Melter. Of course, you wouldn't see him in Iron Man these days. Tom Dancelot is too, he's too cool for, to have old, old uh, cool villains like that that are actually much cooler than he ever thought he could be. Red Mother, Red Mother number one, this is the variant. Look at that. Socket to me, socket love. Robin Hood Vigilante number two. Cover D, and that's for my Xenoscope fan. Here we go. Got Hellmouth number three of five. And make sure a couple of those copies get set aside for a couple of my Buffy collectors. Here's Iron Man Avengers. This is the Ron Lim variant. That's the cover B on that. And I think there's one more cover. I think there's like a one in ten variant. Oblivious Song, Oblivious Song number 22. I got somebody called on the phone that looks for some back issues, and we'll be able to take care of them on all their back issues. And they think it's a you know, it's a hassle for me to uh, to special order. It's not a problem whatsoever. I'm happy to do it for you. Got Doom 2099, and I see the Harley Quinn uh, second part to that cover. This is the variant edition on Doom 2099, another Ron Lim cover. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Justice League Odyssey. A new hero emerges, Gamma Knife, issue number 16. Got Deadly Class number 42. Cover A on Deadly Class. Make sure that gets set aside for somebody. Got Disney Afternoon Giant number 8. This is being set aside for the same person as Get the Arrow and uh, some other comics as well. And this is one of the other comics that's going to be set aside for them. Betty Page Unbound. There you go. Spank it. Spank it good. Spank it hard. Or I guess it maybe should be a uh, Devo. Whip it. Whip it good. So I've got copies. Both of my copies are getting set aside. And these are cover E, so you can say I got double E's here. Batman and the Outsiders, number eight. Breaking point. Breaking point on Batman and the Outsiders, number eight. That's cover A on that. Deja Thoris. This is, I believe, the Billy. Well, this is cover D. This is not Billy Tushi. This is. Oh, it is. I thought I recognized it. That's a Billy Tushi cover. If any of you are on here are friends with Billy Tushi on Facebook, please share this video on Facebook and tag his name. Billy would be pleased to know that his work is still being appreciated out there. And that's cover D. So, these aren't double Ds. These are, these are four Ds. And here's the... There it is. There's the Harley Quinn cover. They got shenanigans. Shenanigans is getting ready to go on. Oh, we're getting very, very close to 1,000 subscribers. I think we need like 15 more subscribers, so uh, that would be great to be over 1,000 before the before 2020 starts. 
and I thank everybody that does subscribe, everybody that likes my videos, everybody that comments, and everybody that shares. Thank you. You certainly make it a lot of fun for me to uh, to do this. Saban's Go Go Power Rangers number 26. This is a variant set aside for a customer. And here we go. These are Joe Lindner. Of course, Joe Lindner is going to do Dejathoris justice on that. Man, oh man. And the way you see the, I think the Frank Cho cover, and there's an Adam Hughes cover too. Retailer variant on dying is easy, number one. And I should be shocked. How long ago did we see these detective comics in this, this box here? Look, five more, five little sheep that got lost. Speaking of five, Terry Moore is five years, number six. This is set aside for a pull customer. Savage Sword of Conan, number 12. Who's pissed off? Conan's pissed off. He's a Seahawks fan. He's pissed off because the Rams kicked their ass. Pretty deadly number four, the rat. This is for a pull customer. Here is yet another symbiote Spider-Man variant. This is a takeoff on Spider-Man. God, is it number number 24 of the um of the, the series that started with Todd McFarlane and then went to Eric Larson? I think this uh was initially, I think was a cover by Rick Leonardi. I might be I might be wrong on that. Here we got Dr. Mirage number five. Cover A on Dr. Mirage number five. Fallen Angels number three. Very nice looking, beautiful cover on Fallen Angels number three. Been pretty happy with most of Marvel's uh, relaunches with their X-Men titles. They're actually doing a good job on it this time. So those that say I never give Marvel props, there you go. Got just a few more books in here. Again, I thank you for uh, for watching these videos and sharing these videos and liking these videos. But there's that one there. More copies of that. Got more copies of Deadly Class number 42. This is cover B on Deadly Class. So I'm going to swap out the cover A of Deadly Class and, and give my pull customer this one here because do you know why because when that gets put on the stand for Wednesday that's what you're gonna see you're not gonna see you're not gonna see this you know, what the hell is that NTM what the hell is MTM no it's deadly class whereas I put this here at least somebody can can decipher it's deadly class thanks image you know I hope you get coal in your sock Black Panther and the Ages of Wakanda 2020 variant. Don't wait too long. There's only two copies ordered. And that is that. That is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Next video is coming up very soon.